Deep Heat warms pain away. Yes, indeed. DP are giving you the chance to win tickets to the DHL Stormers up against the Japanese Sunwolves this coming Friday at Newlands. If you answer our sports quiz questions correctly, though, and those tickets are going to give you and three very good mates access to Club Newlands Lounge as well, where you'll have the opportunity, hopefully, to bump into some of your rugby heroes, like the hero that is sitting beside <laughs> me today. And, of course, VAS rights apply and terms and conditions can be found on expressoshow.com. So, of course, if we take a step back with a great 8-13 win over the Jaguares in Buenos Aires, the DHL Stormers are on a fire this season. Damien De Lendi, Reynold uh, Alstadt back in action just in time for their match against the Sunwolves this coming weekend. But unfortunately, an anterior cruciate ligament tears ruled wing Dylan Lates out for the year. It's heartbreaking for the man and for the team. And a neck op on scrum off Yano for Mark will also see him out for four months. So how is this going to change their game plan ahead of their Japanese incursion? Well, let's hear from the pro himself. Chester, welcome. Thank you so much. Thanks, um, as as a, one of Western Province's favorite sons, as one of South Africa's favorite sons, I'm sure your, your focus is torn this week. You've got a very big weekend coming up or a big Monday night. Um, relegation or promotion. How are you feeling? How's, how's the, the season been? Lots of disruptions. Yes, it's exciting times. And as you said, there was a lot of uh, disruptions. But you know what? Um, the Varsity Cup and the Shield were continued, and which is great for, for, for the students out there. Because um, they know, you know, not only sports, but also their studies is, has been stopped or hold yeah. on um, for, for a while. But you know what? Um, they're writing their, their tests and exams and uh, we're also playing rugby. And on Monday, we're playing a relegation game against UCT. And while it's two Capetonian teams <laughs> playing against each other, uh, it's still a boss. So it's going to be quite a, a huge game for, for my players because I don't think they've played in the, such a big crowd uh, before. Uh, and, and looking back now at this year's competition, there was no one at the field. Well, I think if you've ever been to a derby in the Winelands, you know exactly um, how strong the Kiers is there. And we've got a lot of Kiers coming through on the phone lines this morning. Um, the callers have been piling in already, as we expected. And I think we've got Andre Arensa on the line already. Andre, are you there? I'm there. Uh, a very yes. good morning. Um, would you like to say good morning to rugby legend Chester Williams quickly? Good morning, Chester. How are you doing? Good morning, morning, Andre. Well, my word is you. <laughs> All right, so we've got one very, very simple question for you to answer this morning, and then I'm going to give you four tickets to go to catch the Japanese Sunwolves up against the, the DHL Stormers this weekend. I have to ask you this tough question, man. What position did Chester play in the 1995 <laughs> Rugby World Cup? Well, he's a question. He played wing. Of My course. Ah, oh, good man. And your favorite player, I have to add. Well, congratulations, sir. Um, you are going to be going to that match and three very lucky people will be joining you. You also have access to Club Newlands after the game. And as Chester can testify, a lot of players do spend a bit of time there after the match. So, um, Andre, congratulations, my friend. Enjoy it. Super. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, awesome stuff. So we're going to take another call in just a moment. How do we feel about the revamped format of Super 15 um, Rugby? Now, obviously, the inclusion of the Jaguars and the Sunwolves. Has it beefed up the ante? Uh, should we be counting our lucky stars that we're not touring in New Zealand? Well, if, uh, if you think about it, now, everybody was wondering what's going to happen and it was not, not going to be good for, for Super Rugby. But I must say, it has changed the rugby uh, tremendously uh, with regards to the game itself. The travels is not as difficult as we thought it was going to be. So everybody's happy. Everybody's uh, eventually everybody will play against other in the semis and in the final. So um, it's a great competition. It's a competition that's going to be there for, for forever, I think, and it's going to be every, obviously it's going to grow as well. Um, so yes, I, I'm quite uh, pleased with that. What happened at Super Rugby? Yeah, it's been a fantastic development. We've got another caller on the line. Our lines are actually crashing at the moment, and um, we are joined by Keegan. Good morning, Keegan. <laughs> Oh, uh, we've just lost Keegan, so we'll hopefully take another caller in just a moment. You've spoken about a lot of momentum, a great start to the Super season. A lot of that has to do with Robbie Fleck, a lot of pressure on his shoulders coming into the season, and he seems to be taking it in his stride. Well, I think it's the secret with Robbie is that we see in, the, in, the, in, the, in his place, obviously, he's synchronised quite well when it comes to the training sessions, the board sessions, the field sessions, and that's the success of the Stormers at this stage, you know, and they're playing very, very good rugby, and... Uh, defensively, they're very sound, as we know, you know, it's yeah. always been, but they also know how to score tries, you know, so it's quite good to see that there's a, there's a great brand of rugby, not only with the Stormers, but if you look at the Lions, unfortunately, the Lions fall short last week, but they played against a great team, yeah. experienced side, 
Um, and the rest of it, I mean, look at South Africa, the, the Sharks. We're all competing against one another, but, you know, <laughs> the best team will finish in, at the top in the end. Yeah, and we're seeing um, you know, there are no weak teams in Super Rugby at the moment. It looks like we've got Keegan back on the line. Good morning, Keegan. Morning. Good morning, son. I'm glad we could get you back. Um, of course, we're joined by Chester Williams, 95 Rugby World Cup legend as well. He is dying to give you these tickets, so I hope you get this <laughs> right, man. Which well-known brand is the official sponsor of the DHL Stormers and helps ease those sore muscles, aches and pains away? DHL Stormers and DP. Boom. <laughs> You've just done it. I like the fact that you covered all of your bases there, man. Keegan, congratulations. Those four tickets are headed your way. You and three mates can go enjoy not only the game up against the Sunwolves, um, but of course a bit of time at Club Newlands after the fact. Enjoy it. Sake up every moment, man. Thanks, man. Uh, brilliant stuff. Chester, thank you so much for joining us. What, what do we make of the Sunwolves finally before I let you go? Um, do we have it in the bag quickly or, or might we face well, a challenge? Well, we can never say this, we have it in the bag, but we, we can say that the Stormers will win because, you know, they, they're, quite, they're playing well, all right, good rugby. The Sunwolves struggling. They struggled last week against uh, the Kings. And I don't see the Stormers will obviously lose this game. It's just a matter of how they're going to put themselves on the field and make sure that they get the points. Spoken like a province man. Chester, thank you so much and all the best of luck with that um, battle that awaits you as well. What an absolute pleasure having you here today. Thank you, thank you, Graham. Thank you so much. Deep Heat, warms pain away.